guys, Muscle Bomb Show from Blackstone Labs. Today we're gonna be training shoulders. We're gonna start with a side dumbbell raise. I like to start with those just because I feel like it helps warm up my mid delt a little bit more. It gets my joints going. I don't feel as stiff once I start getting into my exercises. We're probably gonna do about five sets here. Uh, keep the rep range a little bit higher just so like I said, we can get warmed up. Keeping my rep range closer to 15 at this point. I'm going pretty light still, but again, I'm just trying to get that blood flow in there. Um, that way, once we get into the heavier movements and shoulder press and things like that, I feel warm enough. So we just finished with the dumbbell side raises. Now we're gonna move on to shoulder press. Just a heavier compound movement. I feel warm enough now to jump into this. Again, I'm gonna keep it at four sets. Rep range, probably at eight to 12 because we are gonna try and increase the weight every single uh, set that we do. So let's get into it. So with this exercise, we are mainly focusing on the front delt. And throughout it, I'm making sure that I'm getting good depth, good stretch, but I'm also making sure that I'm not locking out with each rep because I wanna make sure that I'm keeping that tension on my muscle throughout the workout. Okay, so next, this is a lot like the first exercise we did with the dumbbells, the side lateral raise, but this machine here definitely keeps more of a strict form. So if you're someone that struggles to keep form while doing dumbbell raises, I suggest that you hop on a machine like this, that way you're kind of more controlled. We're also going to superset here with the reverse pec deck, that way we're hitting our rear delt and we're getting all three heads of our delt so we're not missing anything. So with this exercise, you wanna stay parallel to the floor. The minute you start to go higher than that, you're starting to involve your trap, and that's not something we wanna do. We wanna keep the tension on that side delt the whole entire time. For the reverse pec deck, what we wanna do is make sure that when you come back, you are trying to get that squeeze. And then obviously when you come back for it again, you are getting a good stretch. But basically you're just trying to target that muscle back here. And it is a very tiny muscle. You don't need much. I don't go super heavy on this exercise. And if you notice, I actually do just stand over the seat. I am really short. So when I sit down, I feel like I'm just not targeting it as well as I could.
So the last exercise we're gonna do is an upright row. Same concept as before, but instead we're in front of ourselves, but we wanna still remain parallel. We don't wanna go too high up because then again, you engage the traps and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep target on those front delts. So I'm gonna get the easy bar just because it's a better grip. And same thing, rep range, probably around 12 to 15. All right guys, so that was our shoulder workout. I have my boyfriend here with me today. He is my workout partner. I highly recommend you train with someone that can push you, spot you. It's very helpful through the workouts. I feel like I definitely achieve a better workout with him by my side. I wanna give a big shout out to Scott today for allowing us to use his gym. We're at General Fitness in Fall River. It's a very nice gym, a lot of equipment, big space. And as always, thank you Blackstone Labs for keeping me fueled through my workouts. Muscle Bombshell out.